Hi, I'm Chuck Colson with this week's Two Minute Warning. Let me start by wishing you a very happy, holy, prosperous, fulfilling New Year. The goal of the Two Minute Warning is simple. Explain and teach how the Christian view of the world is the only worldview that conforms with reality. And for the church, it means that we need to realize that every issue facing the church, the nation, the culture, and the world can only be dealt with by looking through the lens of a Christian worldview. I want to start the new year by looking at the most radical proposition that lies at the heart of the Christian worldview, a proposition so radical, so profound that it literally changed the world. It's simply this, the revealed truth that man is created in the image of God that man bears the imago dei. You see, from this truth stems every freedom, every human right that we enjoy. It's this truth that bestows incomparable dignity on every man, woman, and child at every stage of life. Let me tell you a story that illustrates this. I remember in 1973, President Nixon sent me to Moscow to negotiate for the release of Soviet Jews. I spent five days nose to nose with Vasily Kuznetsov, the hardline Soviet negotiator. I told him if the Soviets did not loosen their restrictions, Congress wouldn't pass a very important trade treaty, which the Soviets desperately needed. And it was critical because without the treaty, the historic arms limitation agreement that Nixon had achieved would fall through. For five days, he pounded the table. He wouldn't budge. He shouted, you have no right to interfere in our internal affairs. These aren't your internal affairs, I told him. Human rights are not conferred by government. They cannot be denied by government. Human rights are God-given to everyone. We call them inalienable. The last day I recited the opening lines of the Declaration of Independence. Kuznetsov stared at me. Then he rose from the table, slammed down his papers, and announced, Mr. Colson, tell your president we will do our part. That year, 35,000 Jews were released, and grain was shipped. Now, I wasn't a Christian at the time, but I was steeped in American history and political philosophy. I love the words of the Declaration of Independence. All men endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. I joined the Marines to defend those words. I would defend them with my life. But why did Jefferson pen them? Where did they come from? Well, they were a culmination of 2,000 plus years of reflection on the radical truth that man is created in the image of God, endowed with freedom, creativity, and dignity. Of course, that truth was first revealed to the Jews. Look at Genesis 1. But it was the church that proclaimed to the known world the dignity of man. It turned the classical world of Greece and Rome on its head. It freed slaves, elevated women, lifted up the poor, combated abortion and infanticide. It's why Christianity exploded engulfing the ancient world. Folks, here's the point. Every freedom we enjoy, every right we claim, is defensible only because man is created in the image of God. Over the coming year, come to ColsonCenter.org often. Browse, read, learn how the imago dei, the image of God, that radical truth that led to human freedom and built the greatest, most advanced and humane civilization of all time, Learn why we must defend the dignity of human life if we wish to remain free and prosper as a nation and a civilization. I'm Chuck Colson. That's this week's Two Minute Warning.